Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bul Fatih. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Apostolic Vicar of Southern Arabia and Apostolic Administrator of Northern Arabia, His Excellency Bishop Paul Hinder at Trifa Palace. His Royal Highness reiterated the Kingdom of Bahrain's commitment to embracing and promoting tolerance, dialogue and acceptance between all faiths in line with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's vision and leadership. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince welcomed His Excellency Bishop Hinder to the Kingdom of Bahrain and praised his humanitarian efforts to spread goodwill, devotion and tolerance. His Royal Highness noted the Kingdom of Bahrain's dedication to promoting initiatives that bolster cultural pluralism, peace and reapproachment between religions, highlighting the significant role played by the King Ahmed Global Center for peaceful coexistence in consolidating these values. For his part, His Excellency Bishop Hinder expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and praise the Kingdom of Bahrain's cultural diversity and history of of religious and cultural tolerance. The meeting was also attended by the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. In line with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Health has started providing Crystalline Snub, a revolutionary life-changing drug treatment for patients suffering from sickle cell disease. The directives are in line with His Royal Highness's commitment to safeguarding public health as a top priority. The treatment has recently started to be offered by the National Health Service in the UK and is the first to become available for the disease in 20 years. It can be used by drip transfusion in sickle cell patients over 16 years of age. The revolutionary drug works by binding to a protein in blood cells to prevent the restriction of blood and oxygen supply. With the support of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and the Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the new horse race season is set to commence tomorrow. His Highness said that the season promises excitement in light of the preparations of the local clubs as erected by the Brief President, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the rest of the staff in order to produce the best possible execution of the events. Tomorrow is set to witness a 40-kilometer race followed by two other races on Saturday at the Bahrain Endurance Village. Within the framework outlined by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for Bahraini endurance sports to continue their growth, the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation brief announced its new logo, which will be mimic the promising future of equestrian sports. On the occasion, the chairman of the brief, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his unwavering support. He noted that the Federation is working on implementing His Highness's directives to further develop equestrian and endurance during sports in the kingdom he and he also added that Bahrain is the world's second best country on the latest edition of Nikkei's COVID-19 recovery index for September as the kingdom continues to rise to rise in the rankings, marking great improvements and consolidating its achievements in confronting the pandemic and returning to a normal way of life. The index assesses 121 countries and regions in terms of COVID-19 recovery by calculating a score between 0 and 90 based on nine factors divided into three categories, infection management, vaccine rollouts and mobility. The higher the ranking, the closer a country is to recovery with low infections, higher inclination rates and less strict social distancing measures. Bahrain scored 72%, only one point behind Malta, the top scorer, ahead of the United Arab Emirates at 71% and Saudi Arabia at 70.5%. The capital governor, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, has announced the launch of Manama Entrepreneurship Week, the MEW, from October the 20th to the 26th. The event, organized for the seventh consecutive year, will be held under the theme Entrepreneurship, Rebuilding More Sustainable Economies in the Post-Pandemic Period. Holding the event for the seventh consecutive year reflects the capital governorate's efforts to ensure sustainability of its projects aimed at catering to the needs of the youth and entrepreneurs. 
Entrepreneurs. To speak more about this, we are joined on the phone by the Director of Information and Follow-up at the Capital Governorate, Mr. Yusuf Lori. Hello, Mr. Yusuf. It's good to have you here with us tonight. Can you tell us about the preparations to host Manama Entrepreneurship Week and how it is a supportive cornerstone for building a more sustainable economy? Good evening. The seventh edition of Manama Entrepreneurship Week held under the patronage of His Excellency Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, Governor of Capital Governorate, is taking place from the 20 to 26th of this month. The week long events are based on our theme this year, which is rebuilding more sustainable, equitable post COVID economies. MEW is the largest annual celebration of entrepreneurship in Manama. It is a platform that connects entrepreneurs investors, youth, businesses, and organizations in various sectors, locally and globally. Manama Entrepreneurship Week 2021 showcases more than 70 global regional awards-winning speakers and 50 engaging sessions, attracting around 7,000 attendees with the valuable support of 30 partners. The various events include forums, talks, workshops, seminars, networking sessions running over a span of seven days. The main topic this year includes inclusive and equitable entrepreneurship, opportunities in blockchain, data analytics and digital transformation, sustainable entrepreneurship, cybersecurity for emerging markets. For more information and registration, visit our website, manamaweek.com. Thank you very much. Thank you. That sounds amazing. Uh, very best of luck. And that was the Director of Information and Follow-up at the Capital Governorate, Mr. Yusuf Flori. Thank you very much for joining us. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,166,815 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,125,718 had taken the second, and 338,192 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 583 with 53 recoveries and 45 registered new cases. 11 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 31 are contacts of active cases and 3 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus. <laughs> 